Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Priscilla and on this channel we believe you are never too young to reach your full potential. Um, hey nurse gang, how's it going? Today I have a very special video for you guys and it's about nursing and business. Um, if you're a nurse and you like <sighs> business ideas, being your own boss, um, just doing your own thing, this is the video for you. Um, as a nurse, there are various different jobs in the world that you can do. Um, but obviously, working for yourself um, is not only a passion for a lot of nurses and a lot of people in general, um, but you also want to help people and you also want to make a difference. Um, so these are a few ideas that will help you get towards the right track. Um, and let's get started. Let's go. So my number one thing, um, uh, business idea, is nursing consult. So... You're like, Hansel, I can't do that Hansel. If you are an experienced nurse, if you are a nurse with a lot of different backgrounds, knowledge about the career field, knowledge about agencies, travel agencies, knowledge about the coursework, knowledge about um, any and everything in your field specific to you, you can be a consult, um, you can be a consultation, as a nurse practitioner, as a nurse RN, as an LPN, you can consult other people, students, uh, different companies about how things work in the nursing world or how things work in the ICU, how things work in um, the NCLEX world. Because that world is not only niche specific, but you are also uh, considered a subject matter expert. Like you have a degree uh, and more importantly, you have the experience. So you can charge people um, for them to pick out your brain and pick out your knowledge. Um, I have done it before, consulted different nurses. Um, I'm willing to pay somebody if they know what they're doing, um, they can lead me down that path. Um, I've paid for nurse tutoring and that's a form of consultation. Uh, tutoring me um, through different classes, um, tutoring me through different areas of my nursing career in which I'm like, hey, I kind of want to beef this up. Um, if you are going into a master's prepared course, if you want to be an advanced practice nurse, um, that's something that you definitely will need to look into um, because there are lots of nurse practitioners out there that have so much information and have so much knowledge to pour into other new nurses um, that um, they had to pay for the hard way uh, with their wallets and with um, making mistakes. So I am not against consultation at all. If you want to pay, you want to charge me so that I won't have to pay 10 grand and um, a boo-boo to try and figure out why you did this wrong. Um, I, I am I am your student. So this can be a business. Um, you can start that, um, create, a, create a business, and then go ahead and provide that service to your audience, to different agencies, uh, whatever it may be. Number two is starting a nurse um, boutique, a nurse clothing line. Uh, what kind of things that nurses like to do? We like to drink coffee. We like to look cute in our scrubs. Um, I know a few nurses, um, <laughs> that was a lot of attitude. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we do like our coffee and we do like to look good in good scrubs. Um, and I have bought different um, nursing scrubs from agencies, or not agencies, from nurses that I've just been trying to, you know, just because I don't want to look the same. Everybody wants to go to Scrub and Beyond and look like the next nurse. I know where you got those scrubs because I got them too. Uh, but if you have a nurse that you know that's doing like a little nurse boutique, um, you can you can literally cater to the whole healthcare agency and all the people that wear scrubs um, as well. But if you if you start there, you'll be fine um, as well. So clothing line, start a clothing line for nurses um, or things products that nurses like. Um, we like cute things. We. We like pens <laughs> because I mean we write a lot and um, we use them for our everyday work so it's kind of it's kind of cool so start something in that area if you uh, I mean obviously if you want to my next um, thing that I want to leap into start concierge nursing business so I actually looked into that and um, well I'm still looking into it oh, excuse me oh. 
God bless me. Okay. So starting a concierge nursing business, obviously um, there are different things that you can do because I've worked home health. I've done a lot of home health in my um, career, not only as a CNA, but also as a nurse. And concierge is you're going to the patient. Um, and obviously there are patients that just got fresh out of surgery, you know, patients that, you know, you give them, you hand them the the um, discharge paperwork and they are completely lost. And um, and I've, I've felt that, I've felt that for some patients. Like you give them the discharge paperwork, you give them, you talk to them through the steps and you look at them and you're just like, God, please keep my patient. I don't want them to come back and get um, readmitted because good God. Um, but there's something sometimes you can do a service where, hey, you'll be the middleman, um, the person that helps them get back on their feet, um, especially if they just recently got surgery. And if you guys know anything about surgeries today, lots of them are becoming same day surgeries. They want you um, to be moving around. They want you to be doing a lot of different things. Um, they're not prescribing these hard um, pain medications like they used to back in the olden days. You're not laying up in the bed. If you've got a total knee for two weeks, you are walking on that knee. Um, so walking on those hips, you know, so with the hips, not, you're not walking on the hips, but, oops. but you know what I mean? Um, and in, in different cases, like, man, a mom just had a baby. She's a new mom. Um, she's by herself. And God bless it, she is, uh, can be very, it's it just scared, scared. You going home with a baby by yourself, like that's a very scary thing sometimes for uh, people that have never taken care of another person besides themselves. And um, you can be that person, the mediator, the concierge um, that um, comes in as a nurse, use your skills um, and helps them get to a point where uh, they don't, um, they're comfortable at home and they don't have to get readmitted. Um, and so it's, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. Um, you're working one-on-one -on -one with that patient or with a family. Um, so I just, I don't know, I love, I love doing kind of stuff like that. Um, and um, definitely my heart goes out to all my home health, all my home health babies and, and patients and stuff like that. Um, but sometimes it's just, you can see that they may not be ready. They're ready on paper, but mentally they're not ready <laughs> to leave. Um, maybe it's just us as nurses sometimes, but yeah, concierge um, businesses. Um, and next you can do like a staffing agency. So that is something that I kind of went like deep dive in into. Um, it's a lot of work and sometimes some states require money up front for it. Um, but you can literally create as a nurse, um, as anyone, you don't have to be a healthcare provider, um, someone in healthcare, you can create a staffing agency and, um, put nurses, um, match nurses with hospital systems, um, match nurses with um, patients that need home health as a nurse um, or as a CNA. It doesn't always have to be nurses. It can be CNAs or care technicians. Um, so they can, they will definitely, um, this will, that'll definitely help you in that um, situation if you want to do some staffing. You definitely have to look at your state regulation and state guidelines because um, that that can be different for it. It's going to be different for every state. It can be done. It can be done. It's been done before. Um, but that when I was looking into it is definitely a, uh, a pl they're making money. Millions of dollars. Um, are in that uh, staffing agency, staffing company. Um, I also knew some a woman that started it, and I wish I had, I wish I had done it with her. Um, but <laughs> I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. So, but 
yeah, if you guys have an idea or have a business mind, um, things that you can do, you can start a YouTube channel and um, start selling merchandise on here that will help nurses or do a course that'll help nurses, beginning or beginning nurses, um, or different things like that. Um, it doesn't always have to be, um, um, it doesn't have to be educational. It could be like survival guide type thing. You can make an ebook or different things like that. Um, I just want you guys to be open to the opportunity and be open. Um, you're a nurse, yes, but you also have many other talents as well. Um, we also had a girl, side note here, we had a girl on the unit that um, would create different like purses and bags and stuff like that. And she would make beautiful bags that you can wipe off, uh, flip in and out. Um, and it was, you know, her little side hustle and she still did nursing. Um, she was still doing her nursing job, but she was selling them on Etsy and, and eBay and stuff like that and to the whole unit. And I was, I mean, I bought one <laughs> and because it was cute. You know, we kept all our pens and stuff in, the, in there. It was just really nice. Um, and she really knew how to do it, her thing. Um, and she was a nurse and it's capable. It's, you are capable of doing the exact same thing. Anyways, I am rambling at this moment. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have made it this far, please comment, please subscribe, share this video to someone that it may help. Um, and just have an awesome day. <laughs> Bye guys.